Well, I think it's most important to think of sales as a process and something that you can design and manage. So it, I think uh, a sales process should be systematic, uh, persistent, incremental, and iterative. And uh, each of those describe designing a process and then in adjusting it and developing it as you learn what's, how, how effective you're being in the market. So if you think of persistent, uh, that's really important because sales is hard work. And you don't pay sales people the large amounts of money you do because they're, you want to. You pay it because they have to. They've got a very difficult job to do. And a lot of that job is a numbers game. You know, you know the sales funnel and kind of filling it at the top. And there's a lot of truth to the fact you have to work things to get them through the funnel and down to a, de down to a deal. With an early stage company, it's really important, uh, actually in all aspects, not to go out and boil the ocean, not to try to do it all at once. So it's much better to beta test the way you sell in a, a market or a vertical or with a particular title, learn from that experience, and then incrementally grow out from there. That incremental process can be fast, but rather than do it all at once, you want to do it kind of one step at a time. Iterative really relates to that sort of looping back, checking how well you're doing, uh, redoing it if it's succeeding, successful, tweaking it if it's not. And it's important to understand that uh, you're going to be doing this for a while, so you, you, want to, you, want to make, you want to design a process that you can iterate on a number of times. You know, I think traditionally sales uh, has been seen as kind of a black box where you've got a star that makes the sales. You don't know how he did it or she did it, but she does. And I think I like to move my clients away from that and think about it uh, much like the way they design their products.